Welcome to Whisper Report. What's the biggest cybersecurity myth in 2025? Video edition. I'm Dr. Doreen Galley, Chief of Research at TPW Advisors LLC. Technical. Business whispers. The answer is always in the whispers. Subscribe today. We took the most frequently asked and the most urgent technology questions straight to the cybersecurity professionals gathering at Black Hat USA 2025 held in Las Vegas. This whisper report addresses the question regarding what's the biggest cybersecurity myths in 2025. Myth 1. The first myth comes from Tesmi's Corey Cinco and is that is that we can stop every single threat from entering the organization. This may come as a surprise to some executives, particularly outside of cybersecurity, but the expression used is always when, not if, you have an incident. No need to fret. Trust me, as Corey Cinco continues. It's about how do we respond to those threats and make sure that we protect the organization from losing valuable information and funds. I believe all appreciate that clarification. Cybersecurity involves defense, but it's also a game about preparation for when and resiliency after. This topic is further discussed in Conference Whispers Black Hat USA 2025. Myth 2 simulates Aviha Ben Yosef brings us myth number 2. The more money you spend on cybersecurity, the more protected you are. Ben goes on further to explain. In order to really be protected in cybersecurity from cyber attacks is by actually knowing what you need to do in order to make sure you are protected. And when once you know that, you don't need to spend too much money. You need to spend you know, a very focused amount of money in what matters most. If you are surprised by this, you really need to book an inquiry with TBW Advisors so we can help review your cybersecurity strategy. Additional research regarding critical observations on cybersecurity spend can be found in the keynote covered with Conference Whispers Identiverse 2024. Myth 3 Cybersecurity myth number 3 comes to us from Dune Security's David Delapel. Security awareness training is improving readiness and reducing risk. Security awareness training is dead. Intrigued? Let's hear more from David. Security awareness training as it exists today, meaning legacy security awareness training technologies are not effective at reducing risk and create friction and an adversarial relationship between the security organization and the end users. The problem is if you think about a doctor who is looking to solve a patient's problem, the first thing they would do is take in a lot of data and run tests to exclude the possibilities. They quantify the risk before they prescribe a medicine or a surgery. And so if there's a security awareness training solution that doesn't automatically provide uh, user adaptation, it's, uh, it's kind of falling flat on its face. Every piece of security control or adaptation should be uh, relevant to the individual user's risk profile. And that training or that security measure should be applied automatically based on the risk profile training employees only on what they specific employee personally need to get better at? Sounds optimized. Myth 4. Bringing us cybersecurity myth 4 is Strike Ready's Alex Lainstein. An AI is going to replace humans. Alex further clarified. Uh, AI is always going to augment humans. Anybody who's ever leveraged any AI system, any generative AI system, you see that it makes mistakes. Sometimes those mistakes are obvious, sometimes they're subtle, and no one is ever going to turn anything over to an AI when it's making such obvious or subtle mistakes without a human in the loop. Whereas Elastic Security's James Spiteri further explained... The fact that we're thinking about this fully autonomous security operations team, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's, everything is the right approach to think about these things. Um, AI and agents are phenomenal, but they are the perfect complement to humans. They're not, good, they're not there to replace humans. They're there to make humans' lives better, eliminate the stuff that humans don't want to do, and let humans do the fun things. Like, make people excited about wanting to work in cyber. And that's what the AI is allowing us to do. Myth 5. Brian Melman and his AI agent from Cyber Innovate bring us Myth 5. 
Uh, I'm actually here with one of my agents, uh, and his name is Ralph. Uh, Ralph, can you answer the question, as you see it in our worldview, what's the biggest cybersecurity myth here in 2025? Absolutely, Brian. Happy to jump in here. So from our perspective, the biggest cybersecurity myth of 2025 is probably the idea that AI is just a plug and play solution. Ralph and Brian went on to further explain that it's kind of a one size fits all magic bullet. In reality, the myth is that AI will handle everything securely on its own. But the truth is it needs a lot of oversight, a lot of transparency, and people often underestimate the complexity inside the machine. So that's the big myth, that AI is just simple and straightforward, when really, it's a lot more nuanced. And that's my take. Uh, I would add my answer, I would extend onto yours, is I agree. But um, I'm used to systems that have access controls, authentication controls, and audit. Uh, inside the black box, we don't have any of them. Once I log in and I authenticate, it's a wild, wild west. Uh, that has to change. Uh, immutable logs within the system is probably something that's going to happen at some point uh, or some other unique uh, solutions to the problem. Interestingly, Ariful Huck from Exaforce observed a similar concern. Uh, I'm trying to build an LLM wrapper, uh, is what I call it. Uh, without really understanding the data uh, related to the problems that you're trying to solve. Um, LLMs can only get you so far, right? Um, they are large language models and they're good you know, summarization and contextualization. But at the end of the day, if you want to solve problems related to, say, detections uh, or investigations, uh, LLMs can only get you so far, right? You really need to go back to the get data, go back to the fundamentals, and then layer on a large language model on top of it uh, to solve some of the problems that around, like, you know, summarization, um, you know, um, building agent kick workflows, those sorts of things. In other words, solutions are custom crafted, not plug and play. Myth six. Techmark's Jonathan Rendy brings us myth six. AI generates secure code. That myth should grab the attention of all organizations leveraging coding agents to quickly advance their product. Jonathan continues. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> and it will probably get better over time. And will it do a better job than a junior developer in simple mistakes that can cause vulnerabilities? Heck yeah, of course it will. But for the more complex issues, it's not there yet. AI is not there yet. Myth seven. Let's hear myth seven from Bullies Joe Shore. AI is actually a sovereign thing. Uh, if you walk around, you see that everybody's got AI in their pitch or their subtitle on the boost. I think if you judiciously apply AI machine learning in very discrete tasks and things, it's fantastic. I think that it's being overblown quite a bit right up at the myth level. Um, I think that if you treat it like we treat it in Bully, we've got AI built in, but we don't publish it all over everything we've got. But we treat it kind of like an idiot savant. It's, it does one task really well or does a discrete set task really well. It may not actually behave well in church, but you can get to do what you want for something very, very specific, which is how we do it. I think the myth is that AI is going to solve everybody's problems. Brian Sledge of Impact also believes that AI will solve everything is a myth. I think AI is best positioned more like a force multiplier, but I don't think it solves the problems, the core problems of cybersecurity today. Um, cybersecurity still requires context, it requires policy-driven control, and those things still require human in the loop. And I think the best way to leverage AI isn't so much in solving for cybersecurity, but it's more for helping multiply and scale out what humans still need and are required to do. So I don't think I don't think customers should sleep on the idea that humans still need to be very much engaged as part of cybersecurity. Uh, because cybersecurity, AI is only as good as the algorithms and the models and the data it's getting. Thus, believing in 2025 AI will solve everything is a stretch, but will it solve something? Myth 8. Microsoft's Thomas Rocha brings us Myth 8. I think most people in, in the industry, in the security industry, doesn't yet believe in this technology and, uh, and that's maybe one of the one of the myths that uh, AI will, will not really solve issue in cybersecurity we have. 
And I think uh, that's, a, that's a mistake. It's probably something which is changing the way we are doing and all the past work that we did for the past 20 or 30 years uh, is going to be changing and evolving thanks or because to AI. So that's something to, to consider. Thus, while it may not solve everything today, it is changing how the industry works and what it is fighting against. Read the full report online today. This has been Whisper Reports, what's the biggest cybersecurity myth in 2025? The answer is always in the whispers. Join the conversation and subscribe today. Have an amazing day.